Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, so we're exploring Supernatural America this morning. It's the newest and largest exhibit that's happening um, here at the Speed Art Museum this morning, and I have the curator here, Miss Erica. Erica, we're starting off this morning at the entrance of the exhibit with something that people will probably recognize. Oh, yeah. Here we have a pretty classic American tale of horror, right? And the supernatural with the Headless Horseman pursuing Ichabod Crane. This work is on loan to us from the Smithsonian American Art Museum. And Supernatural America is the largest show that we have ever done with 221 works from lenders across the country, from Seattle to Tampa to Vermont to Los Angeles. It's incredible. I can't imagine what it took to put that together. Since there's so many works here, let's a little yeah. bit and, and explore. So this first floor, it's two floors, is exploring America as a haunted place. Can you explain to me what you hope people take from this? Yeah, so the first, this the kind of the first floor is terra firma, right? This is, explores the concept of America just as a country. Um, and why is America haunted? Why do these ghosts keep coming up again and again? What are we not reckoning with? What are we not listening to? Are they coming back to teach us? So all of these ideas that we have kind of dealt with over the last 250 years, um, you know, just really exploring this. Like, what does it mean to try and contact? What does it mean to memorialize somebody? And what, what are some of these pieces, you know, how do they help answer these questions or prompt these questions? Sure. Well, I can tell you that every single artist in this exhibition is on record as having had a supernatural or a paranormal experience. Wow. So these works really come out of a desire to either record or understand or try and make sense of their experiences. Wow, and so right now we're looking at something that's also very popular here. Oh, absolutely. This is kind of the famous William Mumler spirit photographs where he accidentally discovered double exposure. But of course, the most famous sitter was Mary Todd Lincoln, mm -hmm. who sat for Mumler and Abe Lincoln appeared in the final photo. Wow. There are some pieces here that you will recognize, especially if you are um, a haunted ghost enthusiast like I am. And I know everything, but it does it is interesting. And I will say, we're going to take you up to the second floor here in just a little bit. As soon as I walked in earlier, I immediately felt like a really eerie feeling. Um, so I'm excited to take you through that this morning. Oh, <laughs> that's a good tease, Alex. And She's feeling the feeling. spookiness, Matt. Right. We already saw her have some connection right. issues. And yeah. you know what they say <laughs> about that? Um, yeah, the, the, the kind of the that EV presence. or whatever. Yeah, yeah it, can mess, it can mess, the, it can interfere. It can drain batteries. And yeah, all we'll that see stuff. how that goes. <laughs> By the way, I got to point out, Alex matches the walls. Looking good, Alex. Oh, yeah, she does. 